Well, the annual week for Christian unity begins today. Among the events is a Vesper service next week to be celebrated by Pope Francis at the Basilica of St. Paul outside the walls. The theme for this week is Learn to Do Good, Seek Justice. The reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah was chosen by the Minnesota Council of Christian Churches. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Tonhauser talked to one of the leaders of the initiative. We're here in the Dicastery for the promotion of Christian unity, and with me is His Eminence, Cardinal Kurt Koch. Thank you for your time. Uh, we're also at the beginning of the week for the prayer for Christian unity. What is the situation like between Christian churches in Europe as we are also at war in Ukraine? I think this is a very bad and sad situation because we give the message in the world that Christians kill Christians and above all, Orthodox kill Orthodox. And I think Christians must be part of reconciliation and peace and not part of conflict and war. What is the main, let's say, motto also? What, what, what are we asked to pray for during this week of uh, prayer for Christian unity? First of all, we pray that we can refine the unity because when we pray for unity, we are aware that we humankind cannot make unity. We can make divisions and problems and wars. The unity is always a gift of the Holy Spirit and the most important condition and preparation for receiving this gift is the prayer. What will you personally be praying for during this week? I hope for reconciliation in the Orthodox world because this war in Ukraine has many divisions and splits in the Orthodox world and to have to refine peace uh, in, in this war between Russia and Ukraine because to have war in Europe is a very, very bad situation. Before I let you go, the Holy Father will travel to Africa very soon in, in a few weeks, and he will be also joined by other leaders of, 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 of Christian churches. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? This visit of the Holy Father in Congo and South Sudan is planned as a common pilgrimage between the Pope as, rep as head of the Catholic Church and the Archbishop of Welby from Canterbury, from the head of the worldwide Anglican Communion, and the president of the Presbyterian Church in England, because these churches are present in South Sudan and collaborate together for reconciliation in this very tragic situation of South Sudan. So something also for our viewers at home to pray for, to join in prayer with, with Christians really around the world for unity amongst the Christian churches. Your Eminence, thank you so much for your time. And maybe this is also something for our viewers at home uh, to pray for this week for the promotion and uh, the continuation of Christian unity for this very important work here also at the Dicastery. In Rome, Andreas Tonhauser, EWTN News Nightly.